That's a little better than it used to be. Annual Fork Lantern Draft Race! I don't know if I should tell you to record this or not because we're getting ready to rip the front bumper off the smokestack. You know, uh, one thing I've also noticed is on top of it having a blown head gasket, now whenever I start it up, it has a weird tick. Oh yeah, that's what we're doing, by the way. We blew up the head gasket the last time we took the smokestack out, but now guys over at Power Driven Diesel got a fire ringed head for us when we got the Humvees. So now we're gonna put the head on. Hey, she's not flopping, she's swaying in the breeze. Hey, look at that. It didn't even scrape. It did. No, it did. Yeah, it did. No, it did. Yeah, it did. No, it did. Yeah, it did. No, it did. Everybody hates it when I smoke out the job, but you know. Dude, it looks like we're casting potions in here. We're doing redneck sorcery. You know, we went to SEMA. I'd like to tell you guys that we did all kinds of cool things that we did, but there wasn't nothing, like, I, they wouldn't let me do a burnout in a single thing there. So, there's nothing really to show. Besides for Haley Deegan took me for a ride in a brand new GT500. We had to figure out the advanced track for a minute. We had to go through the settings, they have a, uh, Going through the drive through setting, they have a sport mode setting, track mode setting. Yeah. Well, I think there was a, a couple settings in there to go to church, but you know, we finally found the right one, and that bad boy is ready to I rip. I mean, it did tell us to read the manual on the settings, and we didn't well, do that. Well, I, so. I opened the glove box, and I looked at the manual, and I'm like, that's a lot of reading. I don't know how to read, yeah. but besides that, we was ready to go. But can you believe this? Ford wouldn't let me drive it. Ford, I've got the best Mustang in the world, and you won't let me drive a GT500? Why? You know the bad news is? I don't have enough money to buy a new bumper. Come on, Parker! But two Why minutes did you ago! You put that there! I didn't put that there! You put that you there! You threw it! I have it on camera! But you watched me put it there! I need to sabotage my. Dude, I bet you scratched it. Oh my god, look what you did! Like this was that. a good bumper before. It's already like that. We're gonna have to get a new bumper it's now. already like that. We're gonna have to get a new one. Look at this. I can't believe you. Look at our nice clean antifreeze. Oh yeah, that looks, that looks like sh Oh dear lord. Yeah, it does not look good. We got oil in the water, definitely. But the burnout we just did doesn't add any more. Look how cool this is. You pull this, bam, open, and then bam, as soon as he gets that bolt out, it just pops right out. 100% convinced that that was the fusible link that kept the head gasket in the engine was the boost tubes blowing apart. Because the first time we have it where the boost tubes didn't flow apart, what did I just say? Boost it. Full of fart. Full. All right, maybe try again tomorrow. Boost didn't fall apart. There we go. The boost poops. <laughs> First time we had it where the boost pipes didn't fall apart is when the head gasket went out. Yes. That's weird. That's weird. That's weird. Ah! That's hot. Hold on. Hmm? Tastes all right. I don't know. There's just a little bit of a leak. Tastes a little bit taste. like a. You want to hold this turbo? Oh, God damn it, it's hot. 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 Don't drop it, Weston. Oh, why am I carrying it? Dude, it was so hot, it turned my hand brown. That could have been the rust. I was leaking right there pretty bad, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, a little bit. Maybe a gasket next time. We'll put a gasket on it. I've got a gasket for it. Dude, you know, every time I say this Mustang's twin turbo, it's so much easier to say twin turbo than compound boasted. And everybody's like, it's compound boosted, you noob. I bet you didn't even build that car. Suck my... Oh, yeah. Dude, I love this thing. Ignore that. <laughs> you see, the torque rating on them are 80 foot-pounds. I tied them to 150 <coughs> foot-pounds because I didn't want the head gasket to blow. Hey, guess what? It didn't work. I'm not sure. I don't remember if the turbo comes off of it in the car. They seem little... to... <coughs> Look at that turbo. Look at all the black stuff in the back. The spinny stuff in the front. First time I ever went to SEMA, there was this guy at the ARP booth that had a 16 cylinder LS engine. And he was a dick. I walked up and I'm like, damn, you bolted the two LS motors together. Hell yeah. And he's like, sir, we molded them together. We didn't bolt them together. 
We forged the cranks together in a steel oven, and we forged the box together. I'm like, you should have melted it. It'd been so much easier. No, no. Uh, I'm already tired. Right? I'll be back with the impact. <laughs> we just loosened the last head bolt, and the whole head just went junk. I've never seen a head come unsealed like that. Like normally you gotta like really pull on, dude, that thing just bloop. You know how much these head bolts were? These head bolts were $1,100 for these. And they said, you will not blow a head gasket with it. They lied to me. The head gasket blew and I wasn't doing nothing. I was just driving to church. Out on a leisurely drive. And the head gasket goes boom. I think we'll have to bring the forklift over here and lift the head. Going my way for a hot sec. They want me to cool off, and not yet. Sure. Alright, lift up. Do we lose any of the rockers? No. It's fine. No, just keep it going up. No, something's not right. It's been in a. Lift up the back of it. Lift it. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. It didn't come up evenly. Here, pull up on it. What? There it goes. We've been that head stuff? I think so. You know, I don't think we did. Unless we f***ed up the threads, we might be able to reuse that. Eh, it'll be fine. Dude, you can see right here where we blew the head gasket. Goodbye, Sylvia. Yeah. You've survived well. Over 100 pounds of boost, multiple times. You won the race against Cletus. And now, it's time for you to rest for a little bit. One more thing before we leave. Let's pull the head gasket off. Oh, dude, what's that? Ooh, <laughs> blown. Yeah, she's having a good time. Now yeah, they're not good, are oh they? Oh my god. Every single cylinder is like pitted and like scored. All right, so inside this box is a fire ringed head from Power Driven Diesel. A fire ringed head is the best thing you can do to keep from blowing head gaskets on a Cummins engine with that much boost. I didn't even turn the screen around to see if I look good. Oh, damn. Oh, you broke it. Yep. Alright guys, so we got the cylinder head up here. You can see where that fire ring sits in a groove on the bottom of this head. We're going to take and put this bad boy on. We're going to put that head gasket on. This time, hopefully the head gasket doesn't blow. The turbos are installed. The cylinder head's back on. The new head gasket installed. And while we was doing it, we went ahead and adjusted the timing all the way up. She's got like, I don't know. 30 degrees of timing now. It might be hard to start, but if it does start, it'll make a lot of power. It's a little better than it used to be. When you add more time, it takes forever for it to spool. But once it spooled, did you feel it? I'm like, Wah! dude, I'm not even joking. I've never had that much smoke in a car with me. I couldn't see the dash. So now the thing is, let's go out and see if she's any more powerful than she was before. It spins and burns. Dang, that thing's a cruiser. Oh, well, Bill Booth, baby. Oh, shit. oh, the throttle's stuck wide open. Dude, I don't know why it's doing that. You go full throttle with it. Look, like right there, it's jammed full throttle open. And then you can push it back. It's got all the springs on it. I don't know why it's catching full throttle like that. 
I know you want to go fast, baby, but we can't go fast all the time. As much fun as it might be, we probably don't want to be driving around a car with 800 plus horsepower with the throttle sticking almost wide open. Good thing is we got a switch in there that just shuts off the fuel, but. Why do we both smell fire? Nothing smoking? For some reason, I'm smelling fire really bad right now. Come on, baby. I know what that burning smell was. It was the fuel solenoid on the fuel pump. Yeah, that thing's Ow. Hot as How you guys doing? With you? Yeah, yeah. Perfect opportunity. <laughs> Say broke down on three. Broke yeah, down. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Weston. We watch all your videos. Oh, hey, I appreciate that. I gotta Thank get you. back to figuring out how to get back to my shop. You guys have That's a good That's awesome. Okay, I've got an idea. I just wedged my pocket knife into the fuel pump to make it run. Let's go. Please start, baby. Yes! Pocket wide for a win! And here's a funny thing. Put it in park, turn off the switches, still running. But I'll show you our shutdown switch, it's amazing. Bam, there's your new key. You know, I love you, but sometimes I just wish you'd work a little bit better with me. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna go to counseling. We're gonna find a new way to communicate. I'm gonna hit you with a hammer. 